What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pillion here, your YouTube world. Hey, this is Chip here on YouTube. And I'm coming to you with my WWE SmackDown review for August 29, 2017. That's right. So, we kicked off WWE SmackDown Live with the Sin Brothers and Jinder Mahal. And he gets on the mic and talks about the main event tonight that happened last night. And talks on that he's taken on two of his biggest rivalries. And that he is no fool. So then the Sin Brothers get on the mic. And they both apologize for losing last week to Shinsuke Nakamura. So then they say that they want to kiss Jinder Mahal both of his feet. But before they can do that, Shinsuke Nakamura comes out and beats up on and moves the Sin Brothers out of the way, gets to Jinder Mahal and starts to beat him up, but unfortunately, Jinder Mahal and the Sin Brothers beat him up, but then Randy Orton comes out and makes a save and just beats up on Jinder Mahal and the Sin Brothers, then Rusev comes out and gives Randy Orton a good beat down, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then Rusev and Jinder Mahal and the Sin Brothers all stand tall in that segment. So the first match you had on SmackDown Live was Chad Gable and Sultan Benjamin. The return of Sultan Benjamin versus the Ascensions. And the winner was Chad Gable and Sultan Benjamin. So then the next match we had on SmackDown was a United States Open Challenge match where we had Ty Dillinger who answered the Open Challenge match but before you can get to the ring Baron Corbin and him start fighting and beating up each one another but then it was, then we had a United States Championship match AJ Styles versus Ty Dillinger 10 10 10 that's right Ty Dillinger but then the winner of that match was and still our United States Champion AJ Styles, he beat Ty Dillinger. After the match, Baron Corbin throws Ty Dillinger into the barricade, and then he tries to go attack AJ Styles, but AJ Styles reverses it, and this attacks Baron Corbin, and that leaves Baron Corbin to leave the ring. So I guess this is going to set up a feud between Baron Corbin and AJ Styles. Leave your comments down below, the John Squad. What do you guys think of a Baron Corbin versus AJ Styles feud? That will be sick. Let's see, the third match we had was... Bobby Roo, glorious, I will give in, I will give in till I'm victorious, versus Mike Canellis, and the winner was Bobby Roode, and that match was glorious. So then we had a in-ring promo on SmackDown with Kevin Owens and Aiden English is singing on the mic and Kevin Owens tells Aiden English to get out of the ring. He says, good, that's a good job, thank you. So he tells him to get out of the ring and then he does not appreciate what happened last week. He shows footage of what happened last week and he he, he goes off on Shane McMahon and this is that Shane McMahon screwed him. So the Shane McMahon comes out, gets on the mic and he, and he, and he needs some explanation to do from last week and that he that Corbin left him last week so that he explains to Kevin Owens that Corbin left the match and did not finish it up at all so there had to be an official in the match and that's why he took over Shane McMahon that's why he took over and that's why he lost to AJ Styles so then he says this that Kevin Owens you need to get out of the ring because Aiden English is going to face Sami Zayn on the next match but Kevin Owens was on commentary. So then, the next match we had on SmackDown was Aiden English versus Sami Zayn. And during the match, Kevin Owens gets up from the commentary table, to, takes off the the referee's artificial ref, referee shirt, takes it off, and takes it off. And then he power palms Sami Zayn. And the one of that match was Aiden English. So in the fifth match we had on SmackDown was pick the stipulation match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship rematch. The New Day versus the Usos. And the winner was the Usos. When I say Us, you say oh. That means they get to pick the stipulations for the next SmackDown Tag Team title rematch. Oh, I wonder what they're going to be picking. Oh, you never know when. Another match we had on SmackDown was Tamina... T Tamina versus Tina Stock and the winner was Tamina. So what was basically this is like a jobber in the ring, I guess. If so not it's like a jobber in the ring, so 
I guess it's a good thing to meet a one, but still, hey, it's always a good thing when you see somebody win. Always a good thing. So let me go on to the main event we had on the night was Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusev and Jinder Mahal. And the winner of that match was Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura. So then, because next week, Randy Orton is facing Shinsuke Nakamura, it's going to be to earn a WWE Championship title shot. So Randy Orton, after the match, RKO Shinsuke Nakamura out of nowhere. And that what ends WWE SmackDown last night well once again the john squad please like this video leave your comment down below and subscribe for more you're all the best of john squad i say it every day you're one of a kind i love each and every single one of you all you mean a lot to me the john squad i will never do youtube without you all we all have to stay strong stay powerful and let's all just get through this day today so once again the john squad please like this video Leave your comments down below and subscribe for more and hoping that everyone's safe down in Texas with all this Hurricane Harvey going on. So my thoughts and prayers are out to you all. So peace out the John Squad. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday today, whatever you're doing, and subscribe for more. Leave your comments down below what you thought about SmackDown last night.